们大家好，我真的不敢相信，我终于要从高中毕业了。谢谢你们大家的关怀和支持，在过去的五年。Howdy everyone, how y'all are doing? My name is Chang Ho. My name is Chang Ho. In case you didn't understand what I said a few seconds ago, I was saying hello in Chinese. And no, that was not some of my broken English. However, when I came from Taiwan to Evans, Georgia, nearly five years ago, all I could speak was Chinese. I couldn't speak a single word of English. I didn't know anyone when I came to this country. When I met people, I didn't know how to communicate with them. I was confused, frightened, and frustrated. Sometimes I didn't even know how I would make it through the day. Today, things are much different. Now I can speak English, and sometimes even with a southern accent, y'all. <laughs> I have embraced Evans High School, and he has embraced me. I have been blessed to make many friends and to be able to participate in numerous school activities and events. This place really feels like home, which is something I thought was impossible only a few years ago. As I stand before you today, it is really hard for me to believe how far I have come in such a short amount of time. It has to be a total team effort. I want to thank so many of you in this auditorium who have had such a positive and tremendous influence on me. I really appreciate everything. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. My message today is just to tell you my story in hopes that you may somehow provide some inspiration as you go through your own journey in life. My story begins in Taiwan. I had a great life. I had numerous great friends. I played just about every sport, and I loved going to school. Everything seemed like it was going perfect until my father was diagnosed with liver cancer. One day, the doctors told us he only had about two months to live. Every day after school, I would go straight to the hospital to sit by him. I was just a naive kid who believed in miracles. I always believed that my father would make a full recovery. In the next last day of my father's life, he went to sleep and never woke up. In the last 30 seconds before he passed away, he opened his eyes and cried. I just stayed at him told him not to worry about my sister and me. I will never forget that day. I was in sixth grade at the time, and it was tough losing my dad at such a young age, or any age. Every time I miss my dad, I will remember all the life lessons he taught me. He told me to be a dreamer, to be humble, and to be sure to always do the right thing. I was still mourning the loss of my dad when I got some more bad news. My mother became ill. Things got bad in a hurry, and soon she was unable to take care of my sister and me. My whole world had been shattered already, but now it was completely falling apart. Over in the United States, my Aunt Beatrice and Uncle C offered to adopt both of us. Why I did not want to leave my mother, my friends, and my familiar surroundings in Taiwan, I was amazed by their tremendous act of love. They offered to open up their house and lives to us. It's difficult for me to express my appreciation to them through any words. When I came to America in 2000, it was challenging for me to learn the culture. I remember my first days of school at Lakeside Middle. I sat through each class without learning anything because I did not understand the language. I just watched everyone in the class move their mouths and wondering what they might be saying. One day in PE class, I hurt my finger and I barely missed some eyes. The, te the teacher saw it and knew I could not speak English. She sent me to the office with a note that said, eyes please. Another time, I was at football practice at Lakeside Middle. I went out for the football team 
The coach told all the players to run through the conditioning drills at full speed. He said, go full speed, guys. Go, go, go. Well, I thought he meant four speeds, as in four miles per hour. I thought, the coach wants us to slow it down. So I just walked through the drills. Of course, yes, I got yelled at. Another time, or there must have been a million times, where I would speak to people for five minutes or so, they would listen patiently and nod their heads yes over and over. At the end of the conversation, I would ask them if they understood a single word I said, they shoot their heads no. I also had to learn about American food. I remember going to Ryan's Steakhouse and seeing noodles with yellowish cheese on top. I gave it a taste and did not enjoy it too much. Later on, I found out it was called macaroni and cheese. <laughs> it's one of the favorite dishes of many people. It was sports that turned out to be the best way for me to learn the American culture. Through sports, I met a lot of friends. Through sports, I learned about the great American value of hard work, a positive attitude, perseverance, and courage. I appreciate all the time the coaches spent teaching me how to know which way to run the ball, to only tackle the person with the ball, and to stop everything when the whistle blows. Oh yes, I will never forget football. It was great to be part of the Evans football team that won the Columbia County Championship and made a state playoffs for the first time in five years. It was great to be part of the team that restored pride and tradition back to the program. Sports at Evans High School has been great to me. I gained confidence from playing football, basketball, and track. Sports gave me more confidence in doing schoolwork and socializing with friends. It has taught me many life lessons. As some of you may know, I've been given the opportunity to play football in college and to attend one of the world's top academic institutions, which is Harvard. None of this would have been possible without the great people of Evans, Georgia, my friends, my teachers, and my family. As I go on in life, I will never forget the impact many of you who have made on my life. I was born in Taiwan, I was raised in Evans, and I will always feel like this place is my home. Everyone in this room has their own story. When people hear my story, they will know that I came from a foreign land and did not know the language or the people. They will know that this community opened its arms to me, taught me character, and raised me to be a man. These last five years went by too fast, and I'm thankful for each and every moment. I've learned over this time that I was wrong. Miracles do come true. Thanks to everyone for being part of America. Thank you all for